So I've had the Pixel Buds Pro ever since the day came out and I wanted to do a first impressions video, but then I kind of held myself back. I'm like, okay, hang on. Let me, let me really put these to the test because I didn't really like the original Pixel Buds, even though my first impressions on them was good. But then I'm like, well, but hang on, wait a minute, you know? So I wanted to really put these to the test and then do this video. So let me start out by talking about the things that I love about these headphones. First of all, Google, whoever the designer of the actual, like the buds, whoever designed these, listen, you need to, you need to give them a, a, a fat raise, okay? These are so much more comfortable than the original Pixel Buds, 100%. These are the most, in fact, comfortable headphones that I've ever worn. I mean, I'm not even kidding. No exaggeration, no nothing. It, these are the most comfortable for me. Once you put them in your ear, you don't get that like stuffy feeling as you do with other um, in-ear headphones, which uh, these obviously are, if I can get them out. So these are obviously, of course, in-ear headphones. Uh, but once you put them in your ear, the way the, the pressurizing vents on these work, you put them in and you just forget that they're there. You don't get that annoying stuffy feeling as you do with like some of the older um, in-ear headphones. So fantastic job. So yeah, they are comfortable, but how well do they stay in the ear? Well, I like to run. So I put about 30 miles of running on these headphones and it's, I'm laughing because like apparently it's possible to do, okay? Because I always used to think I hate wearing earbuds when I'm running because I sweat like a, like a giant. I don't know why giants sweat, but I sweat like a giant. And every pair of that, I, that I've tried, I put them in, they start out great, but then I run and after a mile, when the sweat starts to really start pouring, you know, then the earphones start kind of just either sliding around and, and or, or just completely falling out like my AirPods did. These, dude, not once did that ever happen. I put them in my ear and I think I had to correct it one time, like this, this ear. I remember I was running. I'm like, that sounds a little weird. So then I just twisted it a little bit and then that was fine. And it stayed fine until the end of the run. So as I've just mentioned, the, these are my favorite headphones. Any headphones that can withstand running because there's a lot of vibrations. You're, you're constantly landing on your feet all the time. Any headphones that can survive that from, from my perspective, those are the ones that I'm going to be taking anytime I go running and I go running every day, baby. The second thing I love about these headphones is the sound quality. Now, obviously sound quality is kind of hard to showcase over video, but what I can say is that these sound very balanced. Okay. You hear every little instrument and the bass is, the bass is fine. Okay. But you know, let's be honest. If you're expecting great bass out of something, uh, this tiny, then Keep waiting because th that'll never happen. You might as well get over the ear headphones or on the ear headphones. But when it comes to buds, they sound great. They don't produce deep bass, but they produce um, like a nice punchy bass. You know, it kind of punches you in your in your eardrum a little bit. And I like it. I mean, it sounds really good and very balanced. That's what I like. I like balanced. I used to be a bass head until I realized, oh, wait, there are way more instruments than just the sound of bass. And that's when I started to appreciate headphones that actually sounded normal and good. <laughs> and these do. Another thing I love about these headphones is the battery life, man. It, it, these never die, yo. It's like, so if you have ANC turned on, active noise cancellation turned on, you'll be expecting about seven hours of nonstop listening. If you turn off active noise cancellation, you, you, you get 11 hours, man. What? Even my AirPods Pro, if I turn off ANC and use them normally, uh, that's like what? five and a half hours and these go up to 11 Google wh what's inside here a nuclear reactor how are you getting so much good battery life out of these it always shocks me how something so small can be just packed with so much tech and battery I mean Jesus you know so with the charging case that figure goes up to like 30 hours of charging time or ch of 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 usage before you need to actually charge the case so 30 hours of wireless music <laughs> that's that again i think that is literally better than any other headphone out on the market by far now the active noise cancellation on these headphones is really good i i wouldn't say it's as good as the airpods pro just in my opinion i gotta be honest but these are like they're, they're up there you know i'm not gonna, i'm not complaining they are way up there they're really good they cut out a lot of the low-end uh, monotone stuff like your ac 
uh, or even the AC in your car or uh, maybe some low end construction equipment that's down the road, they're doing construction. These will block this out. Now, a cool safety feature, or maybe it's just a limitation of the technology, but you still hear car horns. In fact, you hear them really well. Like you don't hear them as if they're muffled. You hear them, you know? So I think that's a cool safety feature, especially if you're uh, running on the sidewalk or, or just out in the city. You don't, you don't want to be completely deaf to the outside world for obvious, you know, safety reasons. So you, you still hear car horns really well. And I actually found that to be surprising. So uh, maybe it's a limitation of, of the technology. Maybe Google did, did that on purpose. Whatever it is, I like it. I think it's nice. So are we all ready to move on to the things that I don't like about these headphones? You ready? And this is going to be wild. Nothing. There's, there, I mean, there's nothing that I don't like about these headphones. I mean, what am I going to complain about? The best battery on any, uh, on any headphone? No, that's amazing. What else am I going to complain about? Bass quality? No, the bass is amazing. You could crack these bad boys up to the maximum volume and they still retain quality, which is another thing I look for in headphones. They retain quality no matter the volume that you're playing at. So am I going to complain about that? No. What about the fit and finish? Am I going to complain about that? No. I mean, these did kind of get scratched up because I did an accidental drop test. I put them on the roof of my car and then I just drove off. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but these fell pretty good. I mean, they fell, fell. I, I, they fell so hard. I heard it in the car. So Google, I'm sorry. I mean, you know, it, it happens, but these survived. The battery still works in the case. The case is still functioning properly, charging the headphones. So what am, what am I going to complain about? Nothing. These are, man, dude, they're, they're a solid, they're a solid nine out of 10, in my opinion, probably even 9.5 out of 10. So are these worth it? Well, I, at $200, yes, easily. I, I don't even have to think about it. These are worth it. Now, you have to know these are more expensive than the AirPods Pro and the Galaxy Buds Pro, but these also have literally the leading class of battery life. So if battery life is more important to you, and honestly, it's you know it's, it's a $20 difference, I would still suggest to pick these up, pay the extra 20 bucks and get these 100%. The battery life, the case, the comfort level, you don't have to fiddle around with them all the time. Again, this does depend on what kind of ear you got. But for me, I never had to do that. And with a lot of other headphones, I do have to fiddle around with them every now and then. With these, I don't. So in my opinion, yeah, the, these are 100% worth the $200. Hands down, 100%. So guys, I really hope this video kind of helped you out into your decision making of to whether to purchase these headphones or not. Um, if it did, leave, uh, leave a like. It's completely free to you, but it helps me and this channel out a lot. And if you are new here and you like these types of no BS videos where I just give you guys my honest truth, no matter who sends me what, then feel free to subscribe as well. And that's it. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.